Okay, hey everybody, this is Jeremy for Massively.com. I'm going to take a look at Runes of Magic. We're going to look at a mid-level dungeon today. Hopefully that, um, that gratuitous ad you have to watch is over with. I'm just sprucing up my UI a bit right now. <clears throat> okay. So, hello and um, welcome to the Runes of Magic live stream. Trying to get to a safe zone right now before I start trying to multitask. This is not the zone we're going to be exploring in. Uh, about two weeks ago, I took you through Mystic Altar, and I intended to show you how um, Mystic Altar looked. Um, but I ran around and had to get a tune, so it turned into a kind of a how to get a tune for Mystic Altar. So today, we're going to actually do that second part, and we're actually going to... actually going to go into Mystic Altar. Um, if anyone in the chat room is having trouble hearing me, or if there's any sound problems, please let me know. Uh, as far as I know, I'm, my uh, commentary is coming through. Alright, <clears throat> here we are back in Istra Highlands. This is Hearth Trading Post, the main hub where you uh, where all the player amenities can be found. Like crafting and auction house, mailbox and that, that sort of thing. We're going to go south on the map here real quick to Snowhorn and Mystic Altar. Since last time I've already gotten attuned I can head straight there. Whoops. Last time I kind of ran around a little bit like a chicken with its head cut off because I was because uh, I couldn't find the uh, some of the elites that that I needed because they there's about four elites you need and you need to get all their drops to be able to enter the Mystic Altar. But if you look at if you look two weeks back, uh, you can watch that one if you're interested. It was actually a pretty good time. We're about to enter well, they're Cyclops territory right now. We're about to enter the Minotaur territory. Snowhorn is Minotaur land. And like I said in the last live stream, um, Istra is um, approximately level 30 to 40 as far as questing goes. Um, so the dungeon is sort of rated that 30, between 30 and 40. But Runes of Magic's dungeons are usually a little bit tougher because I think it takes into a, into a fact the um, the gear modding system and uh, I think they uh, I think it's so people can get geared 
geared up a little higher than uh, than what you would do if you just went in with regular quest drops. Here we go again. I have to make sure not to get lost. This is a little bit of a um, mazy labyrinth type area. Yeah, there I did. I reached. I did this last time too. Definitely, uh, when you're just high enough level to come here, you definitely might want to start exploring it with a group, because there are these, there are these level 34, 35 mobs everywhere. And yeah, I did change my user interface again. I change it pretty often. I wanted to get something that... Uh, I'm not a huge fan of having stuff all over my user interface, by the way. I like a very clean, stripped-down interface. But uh, I know that it might not be the most exciting thing to look at, so I thought I'd get a bunch of add-ons. Uh-oh. got a boss warning. Oh, somebody... Somebody triggered the um, one of the big bosses up here. This is actually pretty cool. I'll try and I'll try to give give you guys a look at them without. Oh, there's two of them actually. Um, let's try to get a good look at these guys. I've never fought these guys yet. I need to get to convince my guild to uh, hang out one time. Here and uh, but yeah, it finished the interface. I, I added a bunch of stuff to like show numbers and and um, what's going on, just to maybe give it something a little more interesting to look at for people that that like that. Plus, I can record some boss fights and put them up. See that he's now he's rated as level fifty knight, more Ben Pike and where's the other guy, Lynn Ben Pike. I really don't know how tough they are nowadays. Ever since they kept raising the level cap, but that's them. I don't know who this guy is. You might want to fight them. I'm gonna just decline though, and let's get going with the uh, with the dungeon. back down in just so you're not fooled uh, if no one's ever seen this before or maybe you haven't even seen Runes of Magic before but when we go into this dungeon we actually have to turn this big machine up here and kind of warp into it. It does look a lot like some of the areas we just went through. So, first time I ever came down here, I was just a little bit confused because I was like, okay, is this just identical to the open world area? But no, it's different. And here, so we turn the machine. Now, here we are. It has this kind of cool little cinematic here. Shaman doesn't want us to obstruct your mission and I hope that you don't obstruct our war. But if you are interested in the war, then I have some interesting work here. This has one of this is one of my favorite dungeons by the way in the whole game. Uh, of course that's excluding the fact that I haven't seen all the dungeons yet. But uh, I think it has some great graphics and it has these neat little cutscenes with lots of NPCs. Alcuda right here usually has a quest, which I've already done before, like a long time ago. But he would have a, a quest for you to take. This dungeon also has some uh, neat, neat little uh, things you have to do. It's not just like burn through and 
and like tank and spank the boss. Although you can do that. You still have to, um, if you want to get the quest done, you have to go through a couple different places and collect a few different items to open a door. Well, you can open the door, but then it's filled with fire. But you'll see. These mobs all here are 39, 40 elites. So I'm level, of course, 57, 45, so 57 on my main. So I'm not really aggroing these guys much. This is also a big dungeon. I don't know if we'll get through it today. And speaking of that, let me just bring up the map. This is the map. Let's see, I'm in that round room at the bottom. Let's see my little arrow moving. So there's a few different areas you have to go to. Separate rooms. So you can um, you have to get some like magic water to put out this fire. Then you have to turn a statue to open up a, a gate. We should be able to get through that. Because I'm basically bypassing all these mobs. Typically, Mystic Altar, to me, it's one of the larger dungeons. Um, it's, it's definitely not the largest, but... I've been in Kalan Shrine recently, and Kalan Shrine seems to be about the same size to me. Of course, I didn't time it. I didn't time anything. It just felt that way. But you're gonna have. You have to come into this first room. We what we did was we took a right turn, as you saw, and because we're gonna get our first item we need here. See, you'll see all the numbers jumping around everywhere. I hope that actually isn't too annoying. It is kind of annoying to me. I usually don't like that. but And I don't know how clear it comes through on the live stream either. But I do do videos in high definition I put on YouTube. So boss fights, it might make boss fights more fun to watch. Things like that. I have a... I have a priest rogue, so I have a, a pretty nice selection of three different dots, three different damage over time spells, which I love. I, I normally use two in my like regular rotations, just for you know trash mobs. Sometimes I'll pop um, lure of the snake woman, which is my third one. It's a it's the shortest of the three though. Uh, okay. These are mana bats, so be careful when you're in here and you're a caster. This is sort of it's not as bad as Necropolis of Mirrors. Uh, there's mana drain everywhere throughout Necropolis of Mirrors, which is in Aslan. So more of like more of like level thirty. But they're in here, too. they are in here, so be careful. So here we are to get some ceremonial water from the fountain. And we're going to spawn a bunch of... When we collect it, let's see here. evil ice spirits and they're everywhere so it's not letting me there we go 
Yes, these guys will fear you, and they use that nasty icicle damage and lightning, and I think, I believe the icicle is uh, damage over time they do on you. Oh uh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention, and I let this little um, mana bat suck all my mana down. It's gonna make things a little hard. I gotta kill him pretty quick here. So I can get some of my mana back to heal, because I might just die if not. Yeah, he's being the same thing no, I Drug this fight out a lot longer than I had to. These, um, all these, like, snowflakes and things flashing around, they're kind of cool to look at, but not when you're fighting. It's, it gets a little annoying. Sometimes it happens when you mouse over your mouse over an enemy. Runes of Magic does that. It might just be a little glitch. It does it with pl other players. Um... Enemies, it does it with uh, the resource nodes. If you have your mouse like centered on the node or whatever it is, sometimes it like amplifies the uh, special effects. Okay. That's why this is a perfect example of why you should kill the mana bats first. Now maybe I could have just ran away, but what fun would that have been? I really, I actually really like this special effect. It's like graphical, graphical effect. It just gets annoying when it's when it like stacks and you're trying to just complete the, you know, complete the kill. Alright, so what we did was we got that water. Now we're heading out here. I'm pretty sure my mana here while I'm at it. There's also, uh, one of the bosses, excuse me, one of the bosses in here, Dorlos, he's actually, um, you can get a guild quest later on if you uh, upgrade your guild castle and get a guild bulletin board. Alright, just so you know, we came, we came in straight in front of me there and took a right, which led us through there. And I just came back out there and I'm taking the, the very next right. Which you can see my little guy moving there. So we're going to go into this pair of rooms to get another. Anyways, Dorlos is part of a guild quest you can get. So you can win some, get some rubies for your guild off of him. Well, by killing him, that is. 
Oh yeah, that's his man, that's his man. See, it doesn't. It doesn't matter how how tough you are, how what level you are. These things, will, these mana bats will suck all your mana away. For anyone else just coming into the chat room. Too. I am Jeremy, live streaming runesofmagic.com, or runesofmagic.com, <laughs> from massively.com, live streaming runes of magic. Oh shoot, now I see how to hurry up and get this guy. Mana bat. And we're taking a look at Mystic Altar, which is like a level 40 ish dungeon. I'm gonna make sure and clear out these. Make these clear. I should clear most of it out here. These mobs behave typically like any other dungeon in Runes of Magic. Um, if you've played World of Warcraft or any other like a Western MMO, like Lord of the Rings or Warhammer, you're probably familiar. Trash mobs, they, they come in, they'll come in pairs and, and groups, so it's kind of handy to have a mage with AoE to help clear out these guys. And there's a few different bosses that uh, it's really nice to have. Um, they're not as hard as the main boss, so it's kind of nice to have um, some DPS for you, like a scout or rogue. Fear is really annoying. Okay. This room has mana bats all over the place too, so again, clear them out. Or your casters will be suffering, and you know, your healer won't be able to heal you. Okay, you should be able to pull one of these guys at a time, so you're not dealing with two bats trying to drain your mana at the same time. Oh, hang on, give me one second guys, I almost forgot to um, turn the ticker off. There. Alright, sorry about that. I got the ticker, so we should be good now. Hmm, more fear. This isn't, um, 
This isn't like a favorite dungeon either for for um most people come in here once they don't they usually don't come back too often except for unless they come back to finish the quest that they weren't quite able to do the first time um you still you can still get a, you can still make some money off the uh, the junk loot here but uh it's not as I was telling everybody in the last in the last um, Mystic Alder live stream that it's kind of um, everybody waits till Callan Shrine basically, which is in Dust Devil Canyon, which is the next zone up from here. It's like level forty to fifty, and Callan Shrine is usually where people start to uh, grind for gold. Now. I was supposed to click on this and it didn't do anything. I thought I was supposed to come here and use that water on here. Oh, that's Where is spring water potion? That's not it. Where did it go? This is what happens when you have <laughs> when you have so many back bank or backpack space. I love backpack space, but it gets hard because I don't keep track. Now it should be. All right, let's let's skip along. Um, I'm. I'm still fairly certain we went. We did this in the right order. We were supposed to come here and uh, and click on this, and then to put up. Oh, you know what? It might be because I was supposed to open the door first. All right. Well, let's keep track of what we're doing here. I believe we were supposed to come here and put out a fire. So, and then a bunch of demons will appear, just in the same way those ice spirits appeared. There'll be a, like a whole bunch of demons appear flying around you. And then you have another, another battle. I'm going to go back to that main room, because... Because there is a room off to the left, and that's where this hidden passage is, and you have to turn a statue to open it. And I might have, I might have had to do that first before I came and got the water and put out the, or at least before I can put out the fire. So we're going back towards the beginning, basically. We and and as you can see, I'm down here. I haven't even gone through anything above the round room. I've been stuck to this lower area of the dungeon. So it's a big dungeon. It might take a little while to get through. But So we gotta go back up these steps and then we're gonna take a right These are times it'd be handy for that if they let you use a mount inside the dungeons, huh? But nope. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to ignore these guys that I aggro. These guys are mana bats, so I am going to clear them out. Okay, here's the statue. And that's the door right over here. You can't see. There's 
is blocked until I click. Oops. There it goes. All right. It's a little choppy when it turns. Then there's the door opens. Aha! Uh -huh. There's the fire still there. This I'm so. Um, so we have to come in when we first start the dungeon, just so I don't mess anyone up. Come into the dungeon. Um, I guess you could. It, it might just be go quicker though if you come in into this room and do the statue first, then go into the room and get the water, then go into the room where I was with, with the fire, with that little fire cauldron or whatever it was. And that I'm gonna go back there because I'm betting that now it will let me put put the fire out that's in that hallway we just saw. In the future, I'm uh, hoping to make these live streams with the dungeons a little bit more fun. I definitely, I definitely would love to get into the higher level dungeons with my guild and do a live stream. Um, but I got to, I have to swing that and pass them, and they have to all agree because we are always on uh, Team Speak together. To and uh, I'm not the guild leader either, so <clears throat> we'd have to try to work something out there. I mean, they're a great bunch of guys, but... Whoops, I went to the, I went the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, I need to go to the next one, to my right. Okay, we're going back up to where the um, the fire cauldron was. Yeah, we're gonna jump, jump. Everybody loves to jump. I love that video on YouTube. What, did, what was it called? Jumping clown? That music video someone made. All right, here we are. All the mobs are cleared out because I pwned them. Here's the fire cauldron. Now, this should put the fire out that was in that hallway. Should, should, should. Or maybe not. Ugh. Okay. But, at least you know the mechanics of it. I failed miserably, but you don't have to. <laughs> because, that is what we have to do. That's what you have to do. You come in down here on the bottom left, and uh, you take a left, turn that statue, and it will reveal the passageway, but it will be on fire, so you can't enter it. So go back to these rooms that are adjacent to the round room and the first one the first one to your right will be that one where you get the water and fight the ice spirits and the second one will be right just where we came from with the fire and you sh it should I'm like 99% certain <laughs> put it out and then you can go back through that room. But here's uh, another thing that there's actually another route as you can see here which we're, we're going to right now. Right here. 
you basically just need to do those you can still go through the whole dungeon like I'm showing you now by going this way the reason why you want to do want to get the water and put out the fires because to complete the quests mainly okay see these rooms are just packed with mobs so uh, most of them are two or three together at a time Okay, get rid of this man about Yeah, wow, they they drained all my mana. Oh, I hate when that happens. Wow, they really gone right through that. I'm gonna try to. Oh, well, now I I call down everybody on top of me, and I don't have any mana. I have, um, I'm pretty sure I have, a uh, not a reconciliation room, it's called a, or a fountain room. Let me show you here in a second. Unfortunately, they don't help, really help when you're in combat, because a fount what a fountain room does is it, it allows you to regenerate mana faster, but pretty much only out of combat. Like, literally, if I sat down right here, um, you can watch my mana regenerates fairly fast just by sitting here without taking any potions or anything. Um, I'm already over 3,000 mana now. Look at that. I mean, I'm up to 4,000 now in just three ticks. So that's thanks in part to a level... Where'd it go? a fountain four it's tier four and i'm definitely going to be raising that more i they they don't really make much of a difference in combat because in combat your mana regen gets cut so drastically i mean technically you do get mana back while in combat but it's so small that even even with the the rune it's on it's still it's still not appreciable. It's just you're not gonna not gonna make that much back. But it's still wonderful to have. Look, I'm almost totally filled back with mana, and I haven't used any any mana pots at all. I'm gonna try to sneak past most of, most of these guys. These are just trash mob rooms. There's that's all that's in here. I mean, as you can see. Not much to look at. Well, the graphics are good. There is a plenty to look at, but just um, let's see. Let me sneak past. Ah, oh, shoot! Uh oh, man, a bat. Ah, oh, shoot! You feared me. All right. Well, I got the bat. I'm just gonna run. Maybe not. Maybe I'll kill him. So you can see, definitely be careful when you're pulling. I aggroed that one scorpion, and and uh, four of these Zerodon raiders came after me. So
There's a few big rooms like this, or like, all KV and... And they have these big guys in them, these underworld Morcus beasts, and they're level 42 elites. Uh, plus there's these little annoying things, the dark beetles, they're level 36. Uh, there's like a dozen of these things, like three, six, seven, eight, nine of them all here in the same place, and they can hurt you. And they swarm you, just like a, a swarm of bugs would. But what I'm going to try to do is go straight across and to the left and skip these. Hopefully I don't aggro these bugs here. I was hoping to jump over that. Alright, there we go. Now here we should be face to face with, yes, this is the Cursed Iron Golem, he's one of the bosses, and he's got two Underworld Marcus Beasts with him. Um, I'm pretty sure I can take Dorla's, oh shoot, um, not sure if I can do this by myself. That's why I'm I'm way in the odds here in my head. I'll go ahead and try it. Ah, oh, he's got me knocked down. Get back up. I'm getting some lag, so... Okay. He's hitting me with a slash for 1166 damage. Uh, he's doing smaller hits of 378. There he just slashed me for 1328, so he's a big hitter, especially if you're just He's using a knight skill that makes him invincible for a little bit. I hit him with a good critical though. He's got a blasting cyclone that hits you too. And then he does this thing and he knocks you down and you stay down. And while you're down he's just adding insult to injury by kicking you while you're down. Okay, we got him. Take that, stupid golem. See, there's a fair amount of gear to get in here. I don't want to, don't want to make you think that this dungeon is pointless to come into. It's, I'm just trying to, to show how people tend, people once they're, they start getting high enough and geared well enough to do Kalan Shrines, typically the, uh, typically, um, people prefer Kalan Shrines. But once you start able to do that, there's, you can get a lot, um, a lot, uh, of junk. But it usually has, um, a little bit better green stats on them. So, I mean, it's normal to m want to move up the food chain, but usually Cow and Shrine is sort of a cutoff point. Like, people 
people once they pass Mr. Altar usually never go back. Whereas other dungeons, people do go back. People do go back to Cowan Shrines just because it's hey, it's good, good, uh, good money. Because especially when you're higher level, you can just sort of burn through it. They, what they call that's what they call scouts in here. They call them scout burning. But anybody can burn if you're overgeared. Alright, I'm just continuing to try to skip all these trash mobs. Hopefully I can skip these stupid bats. Alright. This is the Dream Eater. He's a level 40 elite. It's a mean looking horse. He's not too bad. He's not like... He's not like a boss. He's just another elite. Gotta take care of this guy. Because he... Is a nasty mana drainer. Alright. These horses are going to be a nuisance, I think. And end up pulling everything on top of me. I want, we need to go up there. We go up them steps. Maybe I can screw. Oh, yeah. That was easy enough. And take care of these guys. They're just going to. Oh, when that die, when that horse dies, it dies. I'm gonna try to <clears throat> not aggro the whole room on me at once. Maybe I can sneak past them all. Okay, good. Because we're getting close to the end. Okay, we got another one of these rooms here. These rooms are really annoying. Like, um, if there's one thing I dislike about this dungeon, it's probably that there there could be a little bit better uh, trash mob layout. In some areas, it seems like they, that um, more attention to detail could be placed where, because this is just, I mean, this is just like, I don't know what you want to call it, button mashing central. I mean, basically you have to go in here and uh, you, have, you almost have to have a mage unless you have someone else over geared, severely over geared. Well, not severely. I take that back. Somewhat overgeared. I mean, you can see there uh, is a mana drain bat and three, three of these Zerodon guards, and that's how they all are. I mean, well, this one over here has a three guards and a dream eater horse, but that's all they are. They're just sitting here all over the place. So definitely have some AOEs. Oh no! And now we do. Oh, I tried to go the wrong way. Now see, there's. This is the other side of that hallway that's on fire. You can see my little arrow. Then I'll move so you can find out where I am on the map. So that's that hallway we couldn't go through, and and as you can see, we did find our way through anyways. There's there was a second route. But you won't get the, uh, oh, this, this, uh, Razila is a boss here. 
Uh, how much time do we have? No, let me try to beat her. I don't know how well I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get rid of this horse first. Oh, I aggroed them all. Okay, I gotta try to. No, I didn't aggro her, I don't think. Did I? Yeah, I did. She's hitting me, you see what, she's hitting me with this dark power, and it hits you like four times in a row with a pretty powerful spell. I'm gonna try to, uh, she'll catch you too, she'll stun you, and I think she also, she has a silence, so you can't cast. That's something else you gotta watch out for. So she can root you, she can uh, silence you, and she has that dark power that she'll do every once in a while. You'll probably see it here again in a moment. She has thunderstorm too, this thunderstorm right here. Oops. I didn't really need to stop here. I could have passed her right up, but up oh, she's hitting me again with that dark power. I'm getting a little bit of lag too, so usually there's not too much lag in here. I think it's mainly because I'm live streaming. And nothing uh, extraordinary. We didn't even get any any green drops off of her. I'll take the resistance three rune though. To, can't can never have enough runes, I figure. For combining into the uh, in the arcane transmitter. All right, let's get on our way here. We're getting close to the end of the live stream, but we are almost close to the end of the dungeon too, which I didn't think we'd actually get to. But luckily I was able to run past a lot of these guys. If we run past those. Okay. Okay. Here is Minotaur Ghoul Elite. So what we'll do is reach in. In case I have to happen to fight any of these. I'm gonna try to run through, straight through, and to the right. I might have to fight that guy. Nope. He was kind enough to let me pass. Thank you. Oh, well, we actually made it to the end, and but I don't know if I will make it to the end. I don't know if I'll be able to beat him. Okay, here we go. This is Dorlos. I think I can beat him. Um, there's all these... Did you notice all these guys that came running out here? Just... Uh, gigantic room full of these elite soldiers so I gotta try to clear these guys out I hope I don't aggro them all on top of me okay yeah uh, these guys don't seem to do that and my 
damage over time spells. At least my Snake Curse and Bone Chill should take care of them fairly quick. I know you can't really see all the numbers and not popping up on my screen because the quality might not be that great on live stream. But a lot of times I will do this and um, record in some nice high definition and put it on YouTube. I usually tweet that or, or announce it. So all you have to do is cut your way through these guys, and luckily if you just stand back you can aggro one at a time. That's always good. Those older rooms we just came through, uh, that's kind of a pain because you aggro one and you end up aggroing like four others. And then it's just like kind of a mess you have to be careful about. Oh shoot, he uh he just aggroed a bunch more on me. I got too close to him. So I'm in the heat of the battle now, and he's swamping me. So I'm gonna try to clear out these these trash mobs real quick. I still wanna get these trash mobs taken care of first. I hate might not be the most strategic thing to do, but it looks like I'm I'm surviving. Okay, so that's what I want to do first. Okay, now we can take care of you. He does a lot of stuff. Sound of the underworld, um, which I is he does he poisons you. He'll hit you like these normal hits are for hitting me for five twenty nine. And now he's got dark power. Luckily, I just put on my wave armor, so that absorbed a lot of the uh, the damage. But that dark power was hitting me for between six and nine hundred each, and it was like three or four consecutive hits. So, and that's going to be like an AOE thing he does. So stay out of range. Well, healers, healers definitely hang back. Yeah, this this guy's giving me some trouble soloing, even for level 57. I'm gonna. Here we go. Okay, he's, he's, um, right when he speaks, is, he's, is right bef, well, he speaks right before he does that. Uh, I hope I'm not starting to talk too loud. It's the noises in the game. I apologize if I'm getting too loud. It's because I'm trying to speak over the game noise when I don't really need to. But right before he speaks, or right after he speaks, he does that that dark power and he does this thing where he'll he'll uh, teleport around now there he just feared me he teleported me now I don't know if you noticed that so when you're in a big group, he might teleport the tank away. And uh, when he when he does that, you don't want to be next in line for aggro.
Alright, we got him. Woot. Well, let's see, I got Wanderer Solitude, a level 42 leather chest piece. And um, the loot here is around, um, you'll get, you can get yellow fives, yellow tier five stats. Like this one, this leather piece here has a speed five, which is plus 24 dexterity and plus 60 maximum MP. And we pretty much made it through, like perfect timing, made it through the whole dungeon. So not too bad, um, but you're, I ran through past a lot of mobs and did it all in an hour solo by doing sneaking past everybody. So when you're in a group and you have to stop and kill all the mobs, it might take you quite a bit more time. I mean, this was one hour, so you I'm, oh well, I don't want, I sort of don't want to hazard the gas. I, maybe two hours, it might be a two hour dungeon for you to get through, uh, the first time anyways. I mean, it's a long dungeon, uh, but it's fun. It's a fun dungeon. Um, just watch the, uh, watch all these mobs definitely come in here with a mage. Um, definitely. I'm going to take this so I can sell it. Yeah, might as well. Um, definitely come in with a mage. Watch out for the mana drain bats. Um, the mana drain bats aren't as bad as in Necropolis of Mirrors, but they are bad. They can, and, and all it takes is one or two of them on aggroed on you, and they can suck all of your mana down. I, I'm level 57. And I have 12,674 mana. You have to realize I'm way over spec and way higher level than what this dungeon is rated for. And they and what, I got two bats on me and they still drained all of this 12,000 plus mana. They drained it all off of me. So <clears throat> they can definitely be nasty for level 40, level 30 something or 40 something. Um trying to think of some other tips and advice here we went over the uh, went over the, the quest completion you need to open turn the statue to open the door go into the room farthest south on the map get the water then go to the next room over and put out the fire kill you'll be killing bot you'll be killing a bunch of mobs elites in each of those two. And then you can go through that door if you want. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it bugged out on me or or not. It just it seemed to it just wouldn't let me put out that fire. You get a nice little nice little NPC, I guess you could call it cutscene. Um, I like the I like that in this. It's kind of it's kind of fun. I mean, there's cutscenes all over, but you go back. What you do is you complete the quest you needed to do by opening the passageway and putting out the fire. Then you go back to that that Minotaur, and then he speaks something, and then he rallies his, all those other Minotaurs that are standing there in line, and they all just charge, and they all charge all the way through the um, the open passage that used to be on fire. So, um, that's pretty much it for Mystic Altar. Um, I was your host, Jeremy, and we looked at Mystic Altar in Istra Highlands, which is a level 30 to 40 zone. And Snowhorn, we were down here on the south of the map here, Snowhorn Mystic Altar, which is right there, you can see it up here. And um, if you uh, want to watch any other of my live streams, I typically live. I typically do them every Friday, um, every Friday evening 
Eastern Daylight Time. Next week, I will be coming back. We're going to... The music festival started in Ruins of Magic, and um, I started an event guild on the Artemis server called MV Eventful. And uh, there's news on the uh, Massively forum, the Massively Engine forum. You can find it via the mass via massively.com or the MV Guide or you know, <clears throat> any of those any of those multiple ways. And uh, you can find out details about the event guild. But we're going next week. We're we're going to take a look at the music festival events and all the questing you can do. So hopefully you you guys in the chat room watching right now, please come and join us. Uh, if you're if you never played the game before, uh, you know just roll a character on the Artemis server. Uh, it doesn't matter what level you are. It doesn't matter what you do. Or this guild is an event guild, which basically is a just for fun guild to do whatever the heck you want, and it's just for us to get together and do some of the holiday events and have fun with it and goof around. So, I mean, even if you are if you are in the game already on the server and you have a guild of your own already, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. If you still want to, you can roll a character, roll a separate character and join us. Or you don't even have to be in the guild. Um, you don't have to join the guild to have fun with us. You can just um, you can just join along with us. Uh, there's plenty of events. I've taken a look at a handful of them in for the music festival so far. There's a couple things I need to figure out yet to pr get prepared. But there's a parade. I guess there's a parade and some other stuff. Uh, some other stuff uh, in a few different zones. So it should be a lot of fun. Come along and join us. Uh, join the guild if you want. That would be cool. Uh, if not, if you're already in a guild and you really don't want to, but you want to still have fun with us, that's great. You can come along too. Uh, we're going to have a lot of low levels, so we'll any we'll try to do holiday events in high level zones if it's possible, because we could get high levels to kind of protect the low level players. So that shouldn't. It just depends on what the requirements are for the event themselves. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, this is the end of the live stream tonight. Uh, one more thing, though. Like next week is an hour early. Um, it'll, I'll be live streaming at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time instead of the normal 8. So 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time next Friday night. Uh, come join us. Come to watch. Uh, it would be super fun if you just hopped into the Artemis server and joined our guild because it's we're just going to be running around, being goofy and doing the music festival mess, ugh, festival events. And uh, if you uh, are new to the live stream or to Runes of Magic, you can check out Lost Pages of Taboria on Massively.com. I write it every Monday. So uh, you can read more about the game there. And if you have any questions, you can email me at jeremy at massively.com, J-E-R-E-M-Y at massively.com. <laughs> so, all right, that's it. That's a mouthful. Um, I think I'm repeating myself, too. So I, I, I'm signing off. Have a great night. I'll join some of you in the chat room for a little bit too.